All right, guys, we're going to have a follow-up video to my GE side-by-side -side refrigerator, which I have now working again. Um, the problem I had with my refrigerator, which probably most people have with GE products or any refrigerator, is they just stop working. So several reasons why, but what do, what do I mean by not working? Uh, when I would open the door, you would see the light. The light would come on on the freezer and the upper half as well, the refrigerator part. The front display would not light up. The water would not dispense off the front panel. So I'm thinking, okay, it's getting power. Uh, went to the back, popped off the back uh, stainless steel plate, exposing this board. This is your control board. Immediately noticed, oh, wow, we got some, we got some burnage here on the old R43 resistor. It looks like it's just the R43 mainly the heat too much went through it and if we flip it over look at the back not bad i mean yeah it's bad that's what caused it to stop working uh, you can simply replace from what my research so far is you can replace i'd replace both of these uh, if you can find them they're just again find the right resistor based on the stripes tells you which resistor and uh, you can just search as well a lot of the guys on the other youtube videos have posted the right resistors for it but the stripes tell you everything you need to know about what this resistor does and the specification so that's a giveaway you can look up google's your friend and say show me the different resistor types and it'll tell you which one to buy and they're you know pennies on the dollar right versus calling a service tech you will have to know how to solder because you gotta go to the back here Heat that solder up right there, you know, in the pins, and then pop that solder on with a little solder sucker, and uh, then install the new ones. Uh, but I just wanted to keep this board. This is the original board. I'm going to keep it as backup. I did order a replacement board installed, and uh, that is all in and working. What else? Uh, what else did I do? I checked the uh, relays on the actual compressor. That was good. Uh, let's see. Uh, Looking at the other YouTube guys out there, uh, I think it was Grace Appliance, very awesome guy. He saved my butt as he said, okay, troubleshooting it. I went through all the pins, checking all, you know, the uh, voltage readout, blah, 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 12 volts, whatever, and going through all this stuff. But, I mean, visibly, you can see it's this. And he said if it's the top one, it's the evaporator fan in the freezer. The bottom one, which is R27, is the compressor fan. So R43, boom. I went and ordered that new fan right here. Here's the old one, Panasonic. It doesn't look bad. He's thinking maybe moisture got in. Here's the plug. I don't know. So when I did install these new ones, uh, the plugs in that, I just put dielectric grease on these connectors, uh, on all the connectors, on everything I put back in, just to help maybe keep them from any, cor any, uh, any water getting in and or corrosion. I also replaced this one. This is the compressor fan. This one was more funky. It was all dirty in that. So I don't think this one failed, but you gotta be careful when you take this thing out. These wires will come out of the plug. But when you buy a new one, you get a new plug. So no worries. Keeping these anyway, just for reference in the future. Keeping this board as well, in case uh, the fridge, which I have, I think it's at least 10 years old, I'm gonna go with that, but it looks like this R43 resistor is what went. I'll keep this as is. And what they said you can also check, I was unable to find an actual wiring schematic of this thing, it's hard to find. But uh, these capacitors, so you can check if they're bubbling or leaking fluid to see if they're bad. But everything else worked in the fridge. How do I know? What I would do is uh, when, this, when this harness was plugged in, this is J2, Power is here, and then let me use my little pointer. Power is here on this pin, and then on the one, two, three, four pin is the, I think, the oscillate, uh, evaporator fan power, and then the next one down, five, is the compressor. So what you can do when everything's all wired on the board, things not running, you're still getting power to the light bulbs in that, you can jump just get a wire, insulated wire, so you don't get a little jolt. Uh, insulated wire, it was like two inches long, and I just 
put it into the connector here and then I put it into this fourth one here, boom. The fan in the freezer, you could hear spin up and then right after that, amazingly the compressor would just start up and it would run. Um, then maybe a day later, there must be some condition where it doesn't have enough juice going into this from here to here to power the fan to kick it back in after maybe it meets its temperature and stops running. Uh, so this, you know, this being bad is still a problem. And uh, basically I was told too, if you just replace the board with a new one or even replace this, it's still gonna go because you probably still have a bad fan, motor, harness, or whatever's getting shorted out or something. So I just wanna replace one, two, and then three. Uh, this is about a hundred some bucks. This was, this was pretty pricey, hundred. This was a little cheaper, 50 or so. Got it the next day, uh, it was beautiful. So that was a big help. So this one here is what went. I'm gonna keep this for parts. Uh, most other stuff is working. So I'm hoping this uh, fridge keeps going for a bit longer. Heat sink, don't touch any of this stuff when it's uh, powered up. You'll feel it'll zzz, uh, and you don't wanna short out the board. So this is it. In case you guys are having the same problem, again, like I said, the fridge would uh, light up inside, but it would not run. Compressor would not kick in. The front display would not light up. Uh, the front water would not dispense. And, uh, but when I did short it out and went through all the troubleshooting steps on the Grace video guy, go to his channel, check out some of the steps. He's very detailed. But when I jumped from the uh, bottom pin here to the fourth one, I, everything ran fine. Cooled it down to zero on the freezer and 37 on the fridge. So I knew all the other components, the compressor were working. And I pretty much, obviously, this is visibly the problem. And knowing that this was the... Uh, evaporator fan uh, resistor pretty much made it easy peasy hardest part was just pulling all the crap out of the freezer and uh, getting to the compressor fan was a pain there's probably an easier way to do it but I just pulled the whole thing out the uh, fan part got the fan off and then replaced that unit all good so anyway this is just for future reference for people here is my part number on the board and there's that for the compressor fan. There's that for the evaporator fan. All right, guys, hope this helps somebody. If you know where to get diagrams, the actual wiring diagram explaining each one of these, R43, R27, j jumpers, all these pins, let me know. I've been looking all over and I cannot find the actual diagram. All right, I'm out. Take care.